So now we will start the next problem that is problem number 11. So far 10 problems we have done on cost sheet unit and output costing. So 11th problem I am going to start here onwards the problem every problem will be a different problem. See, so give more concentration. Hope everybody have got the hard copy of the problems from the link under my description. So the viewers if you have not taken the problems please go to the description. The last line link you will find. There you can find the problems to so get a hard copy of the problems and keep it ready before uh, solving the problem. Come on, see the 11th problem. 7,500 units of a standard product were manufactured during the month of April 1972. 7,500 units were manufactured during the month of April. 7,000 units were sold at 7 rupees per unit. Manufactured 7,500 but sold are only 7,000. That means 500 units are manufactured but not sold. Manufactured but not sold means it is unsold stock, closing stock. So it is closing stock of finished goods. And a 7,500 units banai, like in Beche Khali 7,000. So 500 unit finished stock, closing stock of finished goods. 7,000 units were sold at 7 rupees. Material consumed was 26,000. Directly given material consumed. And direct wages 7,800. So direct material, direct wages, we add up prime cost. Works indirect expense are allocated to production by means of machine or rate. Works overhead come up with factory overhead. The factory overhead will be charged on the basis of machine hours. And a kitne ghante machine chala, wo is up se factory overhead charge karein. So, the rate was fixed at 4 rupees per hour and 550 machine hours were burnt. 550 machine hours were burnt and at the rate of 4 rupees. So, 550 into 4, that is the factory overhead. An office overhead is charged on the basis of 15% on works cost and selling overhead at 25 paisa per unit sold. Compile a cost cost sheet showing cost per unit and profit for the month. It is asking you to make a statement of cost and profit for the month. And per unit also it is asking you to show. So see the solution here. Statement of cost for the month of April 1972 total and per unit because specifically it is asking you to calculate per unit. Material. The total material is given as in the problem 26,000. And how many units are manufactured? 7,500. In a 26,000 rupees ka material use karke kitne units banai manufacture kiye? 7,500. So we calculate per unit kitna hoga? 26,000 divided by 7,500 per unit material is 3.47. Usi tarah direct wages total 7,800. And how many units are manufactured? 7,500. So 7,800 divided by 7,500 1.04. So prime cost we got 33,800, 4.51 is the per unit prime cost. Now factory way. Works indirect expenses are 550 machine hours are used and each hour the rate is 4 rupees. It is given in the problem. So 4 rupees per hour and 550 machine hours were worked. So total comes to 2200. Again 2200 divided by 7500 you will get 0.29. So works cost 36,000, 4.8. Now office overhead is 15% on works cost. So works cost, we got it here. So 36,000 into 15%, 5,400. So 480 into 15%, you get 0 0.72. The cost of production 41,400, 5.52 per unit. This is the cost of production. So to cost of production, we add opening stock of finished goods and subtract closing stock of finished goods. In our problem, we don't have opening stock of finished goods. It is not mentioned, it is not given in the problem opening stock. But closing stock we have. How we have manufactured are 7,500 units, but sold are only 7,000. So 500 units are manufactured but not sold. This is called closing stock of finished goods. So closing stock of finished goods, 500 units are there. What is the cost of production per unit? 5.52. The cost of production per unit is 5 rupees 50 paisa. So what is the cost of production for 500 units? So 500 units into 5.52, 2760. This is the value of closing stock of finished goods. 
and you should not write anything per unit. Already in the past two problems I told you. Sto closing stock of finished goods and opening stock of finished goods per unit we should not take. Then cost of goods sold. Minus 41,400 minus 2,760. 38,640 is the cost of goods sold. 5.5. Now selling over it is given in the problem. 0.25 per unit sold. 0.25 per unit sold. The so per unit column 0.25. How many units are sold? 7,000 units are sold. It is given in the problem 7,000. So 7,000 into 0.25, 1,750. Add up 1,750, we'll get cost of sales 40,390. And per unit cost of sales 5.77. We got cost of sales. Cost of sales are nothing but total cost. Total cost, he cost of sales. And since sales are given in the problem, 7,000 units are sold at rupees 7 each given in the problem. So per unit column 7 rupees. So 7,000 into 7, 49,000 is the total sales. And profit is sales minus total cost. 49,000 minus 40,390, 8,610 is the profit. Similarly 7 rupees minus 5.77, 1.23 is the profit per unit. That's it. This is the end of problem number 11. Now see the problem number 12. Problem number 12 is exactly similar to 11th one. Mr. Gopal furnished the following data relating to the manufacture of beep standard product for the month of April 1980. Raw material consumed 15,000. So, ek mahine ka data de diya hai, ek mahine mein raw material consumed 15,000, direct labor charges 9,000. So, raw material and labor charges add kar denge prime cost. Machine hours worked 900, machine hour rate 5 rupees, just like the previous problem. So factory overhead will be charged on the basis of machine hours. So under factory overhead, 900 hours are used, each hour 5 rupees. So 900 into 5, 4500 is the factory overhead. Administrative overhead are 20% on works cost, just like the previous problem. Selling overhead are 50 paisa per unit sold. Units produced to 17,100 and units sold 16,000 at rupees 4 per unit. Actually in one month 17,100 units are manufactured but number of units sold are only 16,000. So 17,100 minus 16,000, 1,100 units are closing stock of finished goods just like the previous one. Banai 17,100, like in Beche only 16,000. So remaining 1,100 units are closing stock of finished goods. Uska value humko malum karma hai value nahi diya problem. Khali clue de diya hai. Ke 17,100 versus 16,000 Beche diya baakhi ke unsold hai. Then you are required to prepare a cost sheet from the above showing cost per unit. Again we are required to make a cost per unit and profit per unit sold and profit for the period. Just like the previous problem. See carefully. Statement of cost and profit, raw material, total and per unit column. Raw material, total 15,000 given. And how many units are manufactured? 17,100 units. So 15,000 divided by 17,100, you will get 0.877. This is the raw material per unit. So direct labor is given in the problem 9,000. And how many units are manufactured? 17,100. So 9,000 by 17,100, 0.526. So prime cost 24,000, 1.403. Factory or at 900 machine hours at rupees 5 per hour. So 900 into 5, 4,500. 4,500 divided by 17,100, 0.263. So works cost is 28,500, 1.666. Administrative or is 20% on works cost. It is given in the problem. So works cost 28,500 into 20%, 5,700. Usi 20% of 1.666, you will get 0.333 or 0.334 to round off. I have taken 0.334. The cost of production, add up both 34,200 and add up this 2 rupees. So, ek unit banane ke liye cost of production 2 rupees per hour. Now, cost of production mein opening stock of finished goods ko add karte, closing stock of finished goods minus. But we don't have opening stock, we have closing stock. So minus closing stock of finished goods, 1100 units into 2 rupees, per unit cost of production 2 rupees. So 1100 into 2, 2200, 2200. Then put a dash in the per unit column. Subtract it, 
32,000 is the cost of goods sold, 2 rupees per unit. Add selling over it. In the problem, it is given selling over enough 50 paisa per unit sold. So per unit column 50 paisa. How many units are sold? 16,000 units are sold. So 16,000 into 0 0.5, 8,000. Remember, selling over it will be charged on the basis of number of units sold. Whereas this cost of production will be based on the number of units produced. Right? So 16,000 into 0 0.5, 8,000. Total cost comes to 40,000. 2 rupee 50 paisa is the per unit. Now, sales. Sales are given in the problem. 16,000 units are sold at rupees 4 per unit. It is given in the problem. 16,000 unit beche, 1 unit 4 rupees. So 16,000 into 4, 64,000 is the total sales. 4 rupees per unit. Profit is the balancing figure. Sales minus total cost. 64,000 minus 40,000, 24,000 is the total profit. Per unit profit, 4 rupees minus 2.5, 1 rupee 50 paisa is the profit per unit. That's all. 12th problem. So this 11th and 12th are exactly similar problems. Now see the next problem that is problem number 13. 13th problem onwards we have tender problems. The manufacturer have to give the quotation for a tender. The quotation will be calculated, will be made on the basis of past year's cost of production. Past year's cost of production. See, the accounts of a manufacturing company showed the following details for the year 1979. So during 1979, what are the cost incurred? Material used 6 lakh. Productive wages 5 lakh. So material plus wages, prime cost. Works over an expenditure of 1 lakh. Add up 1 lakh rupees, you get works cost. Establishment and general expenses. These are the administrative overhead. You add up, you get cost of production. This is the data given. For the year 1979, material, wages, works over it, and administration over it. That is the data given for 1979. It is asking you, prepare a statement showing works cost, then total cost. Works cost and total cost, batana hai, year 1979 ka. Percentage of works over it on productive wages. We have to calculate one percentage. Percentage of works over it on productive wages. Last one, percentage of establishment and general expenses on works cost. So first, you have to make a cost sheet showing the works cost and total cost. Calculate two percentages for the year 1979. Next line, what price should the company quote? Means quotation. What price should the company quote on the basis of the above information to manufacture a machine which would require material rupees 6,000 and wages rupees 3000 so that the price which will yield a profit of 25% on selling price on the basis of the past data 1979 ke data ko use karke we have to give a quotation quotation to manufacture a machine which would require, require a material of rupees 6000 and wages of rupees 3000 material 6000 ka lagenge wages 3000 ka lagenge aur factory or it or administration or nahi diya. we have to calculate from the past year's data so past year kaun sa tha 1979 so we make a cost sheet for the year 1979 cost sheet for 1979 material 6 lakh wages 5 lakh prime cost 11 lakh works over it is given 1 lakh works cost 12 lakh establishment and general expenses 60,000 so total cost 12 lakh 60,000 it is asking you to make the cost sheet showing works cost and total cost for 1979. We have prepared. It is asking you to calculate two percentage. Percentage of works overhead on productive wages. Percentage of works overhead on productive wages. How much are the works overhead here? 1 lakh. How much are productive wages? 5 lakh. So 1 lakh divided by 5 lakh into 120%. A percentage are and works overhead are 20 percent of wages one percentage second it is asking you to calculate percentage of establishment and general expenses on works cost establishment and general expenses on works cost the formula was the establishment and general expense divided by works cost in 200 how much is the establishment and general expenses 60,000 how much is the works cost 12 lakh 60,000 by 12 lakh into 105 percent the establishment and general expense are 5 percent of works cost now last year ke percentage apply karenge hum quotation mein 
तो कोटेशन टू मैन्युफैक्चरिंग मशीन मटेरियल रिक्वायर्ड 6000 वेजेस रिक्वायर्ड 3000 टोटल प्राइम कॉस्ट 9000 वर्क्स ओवरहेड आर 20% ऑन डायरेक्ट वेजेस लास्ट इयर्स डाटा वी हैव यूज्ड जो भी वेजेस रहेंगे उसका 20% वर्क्स ओवरहेड हाउ मच आर द वेजेस हियर 3000 3000 20% 600 तो वर्क्स ओवरहेड आर 600 ऐड अप 9600 वर्क्स कॉस्ट Plus establishment and general expense are five percent on works cost. Last year's information. Five percent on works cost. Works cost is nine thousand six hundred. So nine thousand six hundred into five percent four eighty rupees. Add up nine thousand six hundred plus four eighty ten thousand eighty. This is the total cost. Now total cost it is asking you to add the profit at twenty five percent on selling price. Profit at the rate of 25% on selling price. Agar ye 25% on cost agar data, to directly we would have calculated 25% of 10,080. No need of any assumption. Directly can. Like in problem may it is saying 25% on selling price, not on cost. But we don't have selling price. Profit ane ke baadhi to selling price aega. Jab tak profit nahi aaya, tab tak selling price nahi aata. To jab selling price nahi hai, so we'll make a supposition already we have done so many problems in short questions in short problems we have done this type of problem when selling price is not there we suppose let the selling price be 100 profit is 25 percent on selling price so selling price 100 rupees hai to 100 rupees ka 25 percent 25 rupees profit so selling price means that profit ko nikal the total cost so 100 minus 25 75 rupees is the total cost we got the equation 100 rupees selling price, 25 rupees profit, 75 rupees total cost. Ek equation one. Now, what is our actual total cost? 10,080 is the actual total cost. When actual total cost is 10,080, how much is the profit? So 10,080 divided by 75 into 25. 3,360 is the profit. 3,360 is the profit. Now we can take 3,360 as the Profit. Profit we got. Now we need the selling price. Now add up 10,080 plus 3360. You will get 13,440. The selling price we got 13,440 over. Complete. Now we will check, verify whether we have done this uh, calculation assumption right or not. How to verify? It is saying profit is 25% on selling price. Now selling price we have 13,440. Now calculate 13,440 25%. You must get 3,360. If you wrong calculation, 3,360 If you are getting 3,360, your calculations are right. Now we'll confirm it. 13,440. 13,440 into 25%. 3,360. You can see here 3360, we got it. That means we have done it correctly. Our assumption is right. Our method is right. That's all. Ha, so 13 problems we have completed. So hope you have enjoyed the explanation of the problems. I have put the, I have explained in it very simple way. So we'll continue this in the next video.